So um, this little video uh, deals with uh, the concepts of food web and food pyramid. So now a food web is different from a food pyramid. They both deal with food, but so let's talk about food web first. A food web is qualitative. It's a qualitative description of uh, living things in an ecosystem. And what a food web does is it shows the qualitative relationships in terms of the flow of food. Which living things produce the food and the many different ways in which the food is distributed through living things in the ecosystem. So we can pic picture that distribution pattern with a large flow diagram. Now a food pyramid or energy pyramid is quantitative. So just to back up here, a food web is qualitative and a food pyramid is quantitative. So a pyramid, food pyramid is a quantitative description of the distribution of food in an ecosystem. It shows how the availability of food energy decreases as food moves through the ecosystem. So it turns out the total energy availability depends on the feeding style. Um, so the greatest amount of energy is available to the herbivores, the plant eaters, and the smallest amount of energy is available to the carnivores and top carnivores. So in any given ecosystem, the most abundant kinds of animals should be the herbivores, and the least abundant kinds of animals should be the carnivores and top carnivores. So what we have here, what I'm showing here, is a simulation of a mountain ecosystem in Montana. It's a mixed forest kind of ecosystem. And uh, let's go down and take a look at this and see what we can find in terms of a comparison of different kinds of, of living things. So, <laughs> sorry, I wasn't trying to punch that tree. <laughs> My thumb hitting my touchpad on my laptop so it wants to punch here I'll do it again yeah see all right so I'm not trying to punch anything it's just an accident so the most abundant kinds of living things we can see right now in this simulation um, are the plants obviously trees shrubs bushes uh, small weedy plants grass that sort of stuff and right now the most abundant animals seem to be right now I see elk here there's so there's a small herd of elk that I can see these are plant eaters they're herbivores <laughs> um, and over here these are uh, look like pronghorn sheep and there's also a little rabbit over there and they're quite a, a small herd and, and some let's, I, let's see if we can see some more rabbits I think there might see some more rabbits but those are all herbivores um, if we go up and take a look up here, we might get a larger view. Yeah, by far, the most abundant kinds of living things are the plants. They're the food producers. Oh, there's, looks like maybe, oh. There's a moose over there, so let's go take a look at the moose then. Uh, mooses are also herbivores. So let's go take a close look at them. So uh, what I'm seeing here is consistent with the, what I would, what the food pyramid would predict is that the most abundant kinds of living things are the food producers and then amongst the animals the most abundant kinds of an animals that would be present would be uh, herbivores which we've seen so far with the elk and the bunny and the uh, pronghorn sheep and the moose okay so there they are yeah anything else now, now I'm looking for carnivores and I don't see any carnivores at the moment which again, that's consistent with what I would expect. You wouldn't find too many carnivores in any given ecosystem. Lots of plants, lots of herbivores. And so let's take a look here. 
So here's a nice moose, good size animal. Herbivores, so I don't have to worry about them wanting to eat me or anything. Yeah. So here he's just sort of saying hello to me. Hi. What? Ow. Let me get out of here. Ouchie. Bro, I was just saying hello. Ah. Ouch. Okay, well, just because it's an herbivore and it's not going to eat me doesn't mean it's not going to be... Oh, there's a cat. Whew. All right, so that's our first carnivore. Hi, kitty. No. Let's see. Oh, he's running over there. Yeah. Okay, so our first carnivore, lots of uh, herbivores. Looks like there's another bunny going over, over there. Lots of... Um, uh, herbivores and then uh, one carnivore so far so that again is cons consistent with here let's go take a closer look at this cat all right so I should I'm not worried about it I'm bigger than it hi <laughs> okay let's hey come on leave me alone I'm doing a video here. All right, I'm getting out of here. You better watch out. I'll punch you. Yeah. All right, so that's the sort of shows the, uh, the how when we go to an ecosystem and we see mostly plants, we see mostly uh, plant eaters. Uh, we can understand that distribution because of how energy moves through an ecosystem. Now we would like to see more carnivores because they t tend to be the more interesting kinds of creatures, but there are fewer of them because of where they feed on in the energy pyramid. So. <laughs> All right. Sorry, kitty. All right, we'll end there. Thanks.